Hey guys, Eric Kaplan here. One of the most common questions I get within my top players in the PGA Tour is, Eric, how do I better calibrate my distance control on different green speeds and grass types? And the answer is found something simple, mitigating variables. When it comes to distance control, there are two basic variables that will dictate how far the ball will go once it leaves the face. The first is gonna be how hard we hit it, and the second will be the amplitude, or how far back you take the putter. And of those two variables, we wanna get rid of one of them. The issue I see most commonly, especially within my amateur students, is they'll bring the putter back the same distance for every putt they hit. So if they want a ball to go further, they hit it harder. If they want the ball to go shorter, they hit it softer. The issue with this is this is literally breaking the laws of physics left and right. Because what we want to harness is more of the action of what pendulums do in nature, because there's nothing more consistent than physics. So one of the first people in history to make any written observations regarding pendulum motion was Galileo Galilei. And so I actually called this affectionately Galileo's putting lesson. Now, what people don't realize is that Galileo, as a young student at the Duomo in Pisa, actually had a fear of being struck in the face by a pendulum. So much so there's actually a lamp there that swings called Galileo's lamp. And so this is homage to the initial findings he had regarding pendulum motion that will directly help you with your distance control on the putting green. So the couple of obser observations he made were very interesting, but also very simple. In that what he said was, if I bring a pendulum back and let it go, the one place he would not want to stand if you were to be struck in the head is at the very bottom. Why? That's where the most speed occurs. But he'd rather stand just one click on this side than the very bottom, because once any pendulum hits the bottom, it starts slowing down. So if you're making a putting stroke changing how hard or how soft you hit something, again, you're breaking laws of physics left and right and going to make distance control, especially hitting longer putts, more difficult because you're always changing something in terms of the muscular force applied. And so what we're also talking about here is the only thing that should change in your putting stroke is just the amplitude or how far back you take it. Going back to Galileo as a young student, if you had this lamp that was brought back to here or here, he'd rather not be struck by this one. Why? There's going to be more mechanical speed at the bottom. And so the only thing that should change in your putting stroke is just the amplitude, no longer how hard you hit it. In a roundabout way, yes, we're talking about tempo, but not based upon your personality type or how you walk or how you talk or how many cups of coffee you had, nor even how long it takes you to write your signature. What we're talking about here is using gravity as a constant. Because what Galileo was also able to realize using his pulse to measure this is whether he brought a pendulum back to here, here, or here, it would oscillate or go back and forth the exact same number of times a minute as this does. In other words, every stroke you take, whether it be a 10-footer or 50-footer, from top of the backswing to impact, well, should take the same amount of time. And so what we're going to do here is, again, this is a lot of theory. I want to provide you with a drill that will help you feel all these things and harness gravity as the constant, no longer saying how hard do we want to hit it. So I call this the praying or the palms drill. Palm is because of what it looks like. Praying is because what your playing competitors will do when they see you do this. So we're going to go ahead and get into our posture and put our palms on both sides of the putter. And so what you'll see very quickly is that if I make some strokes back and through, I'm able to keep my hands solid on the putting stroke if I'm using gravity as my constant. The moment I get here and try to add anything extra, I lose the club in my hands. The same way if I bring it back and don't let my rotation continue, the weight of the putter is going to lead me. So as long as I'm able to keep my grip solid, it means I'm absolutely using gravity as a constant my very first move down. And so what you can do is you can hit a series of putts doing this. And so if I want a ball to go a certain distance, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back a certain amount. So one of my favorite things to do is calibrate based on my stance width. So I find myself on the flattest condition I can find. I go from one foot to the other. And what I'll do is I need new green condition. I'll walk that off. And for me, at a green speed of probably back 11, 11 and a half, that ball will go roughly eight paces. So if I am 22 feet away, I know how far back to take a putt. If I want to bring a putt back uh, a little bit further, that would, of course, warrant it to go further. If I have a 20-foot putt that is uphill, I'm going to bring it back further yet again. Because here's what happens. If I try to go ahead and hit a putt harder on the way down using this drill, there's instant feedback. And that if I get here to the top of my swing and I try to add extra, add extra acceleration, I'm going to lose a putter in my hand. And that the only way I get a putter to go down the same line but further is by making, yes, a bigger stroke. And the ball is going to go down the same line. And again, the only thing that's changing is just the amplitude. For as long as you're on the putting you're trying to change how hard you hit everything, again, you're adding more inconsistency to your distance control. 
which is also a breeding ground for the yips in some perspective, in that one of the more common places we'll see the yips is on really fast greens at short putts. Why? Well, think about this. If you're used to bring the putter back to one foot to another for every putt you hit, and I'm at Augusta National with a two-foot putt that is downhill, and I bring it back to here, I know that putt's going to go 30 or 40 feet down that slope. My body's going to sense it, become a little bit afraid perhaps, and stall out my rotation or purposely decelerate on the way down. And if I do this, my body's going to sense, oh no, I'm stalling, my hands have to flip, which is a big time breeding ground for the yips. And so just know that if you're able to mitigate the variable of how hard you hit everything, the only thing that's going to change is just the amplitude. And so just by getting rid of these variables, I know it's going to immensely help your distance control, whether you're playing on fast greens or slow greens, because you can really get yourself calibrated. This is what I do with some of the best players in the world. I'll go ahead and I'll have a box that's on the other side of the green that is 50 to 55 feet away. And I'll ask a tour player, I want you to hit 20 putts in a row in that box. If they're doing that based on how hard they're trying to hit the ball, that's very difficult. But by them figuring out, like, let me bring my putter back to a distance where I see the, the the shaft or the grip rather just past my knee, they can get really good at calibrating, especially if they do this palm stroke because they can't add extra hit on the way down. Um, what I'll do then is I'll put a secondary box that is 70 to 77 feet away. I'll say, I want you to hit 20 balls in a row in that box. Again, it takes us usually about 25 minutes to do it because they quickly realize if they bring the putter back where it kind of passes their hip, that's gonna warrant a putt that will go 70 to 77 feet. So what I do from there is interesting. I'll go alternating. Well, I'll say, hey, I want you to hit the first putt in that first 50 to 55 foot box, the second putt, 70 to 77 feet, and go back and forth 20 times. You better believe if they're trying to do that, changing how hard they hit the ball, they're going to be there till the cows come home. But by using gravity as a constant, they can only change one thing in their putting stroke because of this palms drill. Um, everything gets far easier from there because if you can get, get rid of the variables of distance control, everything gets easier. So go ahead and give this shot, this drill a shot when you get home. Um, put the palms on both sides of the club, rotate back and through, and if you feel the hands are staying stable, it means you're absolutely using gravity as a constant and no longer adding extra arbitrary forces. This is going to knock at least a shot every single time you play. Give it a shot.